Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Total War 2 Julii, Episode 3. We last left off with the epic battle for Alalia right outside. Uh, Julius Lebo just whooped some ass. It was a very close victory. Ready for battle. And uh, we're going to... Forgive me, but I cannot... Finish them off. <laughs> so my troops are very weak, so I got to be careful here. But uh, I think we can. I think we can work it out. Should be fun. Reinforcements have arrived. Run now, and I will. At your command. and speed draw weapons come forward straight and brutal charge right down the center and make those slingers not effective whatsoever Get rid of these shitty levies as soon as possible. Quick march. It's the real plan, so my legionnaires don't have to sacrifice their lives. Because they do have reinforcements.
The men are wavering. Rome is mother to us all! For glory! Our general is under attack! And done. Yes. You have all this, sir. Maybe. GG! Good game, guys. Trust can lead gone.
All right. Uh, now to take out. Well, gotta let this army rest and recuperate. But I think the next goal will be uh, to take on uh, Syracuse. When one side goes against the enemy with the God's gift or stronger morale, then let their adversaries, as a rule, cannot withstand them. Xenophon, Greek general and historian. Waiting for a new course. Attack for Rome! Ready for battle. Ready, docking. At your command. It is an honor to serve for Rome. Yeah, I'm going to auto calc battles. We still have a good wind. Hey, good job, guys. Mm. All right. How can I serve Your greaves are a disweep for battle. Hmm. How can I be of assistance? They will never Don't know what's going to happen down here south. Playing kind of cautiously. Uh, really, I want this first army to. Oh, well, that's not good.
For the sake of friendship that has been and friendship to come, greetings. Now, let us seek wisdom together. Greetings, my friend. You have my ear for your speech. And... Oh. I think trade a bad idea. We do not want simple folk to be scared of the marketplace. Enter, friend, and speak. We... Be welcome here, and speak as you wish, without fear of consequence. My people are... Hmm... I don't understand what this army's doing out here. Returning to land. Fleet reporting. Rome needs more ships. After Rome threw off the rule of the Etruscan kings in 510 BC to found the Republic, politics was the domain of the aristocratic patrician order, who remained distinct from the main body of free Roman citizens or plebeians. It wasn't until the conflict of orders resolved in 287 BC that the plebs earned political representation and in many other ways matters equal standing with the patricians. As an assertion of pride and identity, the Luda Plebe, or Plebeian Games, were organized and hosted by Plebeian Aediles, the Office of Public Maintenance, Order, and Festivals. Held annually from November 13th through 17th, the Circus Flaminius, the festival involved a great feast to honor Jupiter Optimus Maximus, followed by days of theatrical performances, sporting event, sporting competitions, and equestrian displays. Ludi Plebi, we, the common people of Rome, have earned the right of celebration, plus 20% wealth from culture, all regions, plus four public order per turn, all provinces. Four turns. That's pretty cool. Not even gonna lie. It is an honor to serve Rome. Making for port! Beep, beep, beep. Ready for battle. To your duties, men. Technologies.
Wow. Uh oh. your service. All right, and with that ending turn, with how silly is about to commence against Syracuse, and uh, the conquest of Sicily, maybe even setting up the siege for a war that I'm not ready for with Carthage. Oh no, hidden agent discovered. I'm going to call it there. Thank you for watching, and please join me for episode four and let's play Total War, Rome 2, Julii.